everyone welcome back to my channel welcome to another meal plan and grocery haul video if you're new here welcome my name is Christy I am currently following the WW blue program but on my channel I do provide the points for all three programs and I also share calories as well so in today's video I'm going to share with you my Aldi haul not a real big haul this week so let me start down here with the fruits and vegetables and then I'll move on to and give you the points and calories for everything else so I got some limes I got a couple things of sweet butter lettuce couple things of broccoli and avocado and of course some people count that some people don't and some asparagus some cilantro some mini cucumbers strawberries and I think that's it for oh and also a can of pineapple slices and I think that is it for fruits and vegetables um, on the pineapple slices if you're counting calories I can give you that since it's right on here 70 calories for three quarters of a cup Back here I just got a couple, pep I wanted to get a pepper grinder anyway, but then they had the Himalayan salt one, so I got that as well. I got these protein yogurts. We've had these before. They're really good. This is the mixed berry kind. These are two points for each cup. If you're counting calories, they are 100 calories per cup. I got some unsweetened almond milk. You can have half a cup for zero points, one cup for one point. If you're counting calories, it's 30 calories for a cup. Went ahead and got some more of the sugar-free French vanilla that we've been using. And for this kind, you can have one tablespoon for zero points or three tablespoons for one. I also got some Moscato wine. Their wine there is really cheap. It's like $2 and something. And I forgot to scan it. I think it's six points for four ounce serving. If I'm wrong about that, I'll put it across the screen. I also got some skipjack tuna. This is zero points on blue and purple, one point for the whole can on green, and if you're counting calories, 90 calories. I got some elevation bars. My husband likes these actually. I have yet to find a bar that I really like. Uh, I tried Built Bars years ago and I just wasn't a fan of them, but I do understand that they have a new protein Built Bar out that supposedly tastes a lot better. So let me know if you've tried the new protein bars. I may give them another try, we'll see. But anyways, these are the Elevation. These are five points per bar. It's caramel nut and it's supposed to be low carb. And calories on this are 130 calories. They're not really high protein, five grams of protein. So the real high protein bars are like 20 or 30 grams. And then back there, that's already open because my husband wanted to try them and they are very good. I've actually had these before. These are pastry crisps. I got strawberry and chocolatey bliss. Those are four points per bar. If you're counting calories, 100 calories for each. Picked up a couple more things of my husband's French bread pizzas. And these, I've talked about these before. He likes to just have these, but these are 14 points. If you're counting calories, it is 430 calories per pizza. Picked up some turkey pepperoni. For this kind, you can have 16 slices for one point. If you're counting calories, it's 70 calories. And then I got some roasted garlic mashed potatoes. We usually use the Idahoan kind, but this kind was only like 65 cents per bag. So I just got a couple of these. I like to keep these in the pantry just for last minute side dish. And these are four points for one half a cup prepared or 110 calories. I picked up a thing of stuffing. Again, just another pantry item I like to have in the pantry. And the serving size on this is one sixth of the carton, which I think comes out to about half a cup prepared. 110 calories and three points. And then I picked up some maple and brown sugar, low sugar, instant oatmeal. Again, I usually like to make overnight oats, but for a quick breakfast, this is something I just like to have in the pantry. Four points per packet. If you're counting calories, 120 calories. And then I also got some salmon. I uh, just got a big thing of it, and then I'll just cut it up myself and vacuum seal it into individual bags. And for this, zero points on blue and purple. If you are on green, six points for four ounces. And if you're counting calories, 240 calories. I also got some deli sliced honey turkey breast. For this kind, it is not zero on blue and purple because it's the honey. This kind is 1.42 ounces. If you're counting calories, 60 calories. And then for the breads, I got a couple things of the 40 calorie bread. This is one point for one slice, two points for two slices. And if you're counting calories, of course, 40 calories. 
And then I found the mini nan bread. A lot of you have told me about the mini nan bread. So I'm really excited to try these for like little pizzas and things. Four points per little bread. If you're counting calories, 140 calories. And then I got some bagel skinnies. These are really good. These are the everything kind. Three points each are 110 calories. And I almost forgot about the hash browns. So I got a big thing of hash browns. These are three points, and even on purple, they scan three points. For two-thirds of a cup, it's probably because there's a gram of sugar in them, which is probably why. And if you're counting calories, 90 calories. So that's it for my Aldi haul. Now let me show you my meal plan for the week. Here's what I have planned for this week. This is going to be another quick weekend prep. The next couple weeks are actually going to be really quick. So this week coming up at work, I am actually working this weekend, to be honest. Uh, we have an event going on at work. So I think I can still fit a meal prep in this weekend, though, but it's going to be very easy, breakfast and lunch. And then next weekend, I think my daughter's coming. So I'm not sure what I'll be doing next weekend. But let me share with you what I'm planning on. I'm going to do something different this week for breakfast, and I'm going to do Greek yogurt breakfast bowls. I'm basically going to take the Greek yogurt that I buy, that protein yogurt, and I'm going to mix in some things with it, like some chia seeds. Um, probably I need something for crunch, and I haven't decided if I want to do granola or maybe like just some fiber one cereal and then some fruit. So I'll, I'm not really sure exactly what I'm going to put in those yet, but I'm estimating those to be about four points on all programs and about 200 calories. I estimated 200 plus, meaning 200 plus whatever you use for fruit. So the 200 calories is based on using fiber one cereal and chia seeds in it. And then I do two cups of coffee every morning. That is one point. I use the Friendly Farms, the Friendly Farms, <laughs> whatever the Aldi brand is, of the sugar-free French vanilla creamer, and then I just use a couple packets of Splenda. So for my breakfast this week, I usually just do three days, but I'm going to probably do four days with those. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, uh, just because it's yogurt, so I mean those will hold up longer. It's not like I'm, you know, making eggs that I really don't want to hold out for four days. And then Friday, I'm probably, I think I'm teleworking Friday, so I'll probably do like just a ham and cheese omelet at home. I'll just throw some an omelet together with just a little bit of ham and cheese. I estimate that to be about three points for blue and purple, and then green, of course, you, depends on how many eggs you use. For lunch prep this week, again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do it for four days instead of the three. And this is going to be another easy one. I'm going to just do turkey roll-ups. I'm going to kind of do these. If you've seen my pizza pinwheels that I've done for lunch, basically I just kind of make like a pizza and then I just roll it up and cut it into like, you know, how they cut those little pinwheels. So I'm going to do the same thing with the turkey roll-ups. I'm going to use the lavash bread. I'm going to actually need to pick that up. I'm going to pick up some lavash bread and also some boar's head turkey breast. Uh, I'll just stop at public so you won't say, see that in the hall. But um, I'm going to just use that, the boar's head turkey, and then some laughing cow cheese, a bunch of vegetables, and I think that's it. And those are going to be four points on blue and purple, five points on green, and about 300 calories. It depends if I use cheese. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to use for cheese. Like I said, that'll be Monday through Thursday, and then Friday for lunch, I'll probably just do like an egg salad on butter lettuce instead of bread. I'll just use some light mayonnaise to make the egg salad, so probably just be about two points. For dinners this week, I'm going to try a different kind of salmon. Can you believe that? A new salmon. This is a skinny taste recipe. This is sheet pan teriyaki salmon and vegetables look really good. That one is four points on blue and purple, seven points on green, 326 calories. And Tuesday night, I think we're just going to do some simple BLTs. I've been craving BLTs lately. I will just use the 40 calorie bread. So that will be two points for the bread. And then, of course, lettuce and tomato, zero. And the bacon, I'll probably use the Aldi, the bacon that I get from Aldi. It's the center cut, fully cooked center cut bacon. And I believe that is two points for two slices. I think it depends if you scan it or you actually type it into the app. It's different each way. It's either two points for two slices or one point for two slices, depending on the way that you count it. So I'm gonna estimate those to be about six points. And of course, calories just totally depends on how much lettuce, tomato, what type of bacon you use, what type of bread you use, all that fun stuff. 
Wednesday night, I'm gonna do feta crusted chicken with buffalo sauce. This is really good, I love this one. Three points on blue and purple, six points on green, and 193 calories. And I think I'm just gonna do like some instant mashed potatoes for three points and maybe some peas for zero. I put question marks around that because I'm not really sure. I may just throw some vegetables on a pan and roast them. Just haven't really decided. Sometimes with some of the sides, I just it depends what I feel like that night. Thursday night, I found a recipe on Hungry Girl. This is crazy glazy pork tenderloin. Looks really good. Six points on all programs, 217 calories, and probably just going to do that with some microwave Brussels sprouts. And then Friday, I'm going to use those little mini nan breads and make some nan pizzas. I'm estimating that to be about 12 points. That's why I'm having a low point lunch. Um, again, just depends what I have on it. I'll use some part skim mozzarella, some turkey pepperoni, and then a bunch of vegetables. And then for the sauce, I usually just use the traditional pasta sauce that I get from Aldi. It's kind of like Aldi's version of uh, Prego. And then, like I said, the weekend, usually we just don't plan the weekends anyway. And plus that weekend, I think my daughter is coming. So uh, we'll decide when she comes what we feel like doing. And for my snacks this week, I am just loving the rice cakes with Laughing Cow Cheese. That is like my new favorite right now. I just have one every night. And many of you suggested trying it, trying the rice cakes with peanut butter. I did that the other night. I had just two tablespoons of peanut butter on one, and it was so good. So that has been my new snack. I've been doing real good uh, scaling back on the snacks at night. So two points for those and 75 calories, I believe, for Laughing Cow Cheese Wedge and then one rice cake. And then the other thing I'm going to have is probably some fruit throughout the week for zero. Other than that, that's pretty much been the basics of my snack. Once in a while, I throw some popcorn in there, but that's pretty much what I've been snacking on. Oh, and my puddings. I didn't write down my puddings. Uh, I really scaled back on my puddings as well. I've been having maybe one every like three nights, uh, just the sugar-free snack pack pudding. So I hope you all liked this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. I'm Christy, and I'm planning us healthy. You're perfect as you are.